Today, I'm taking everyone shopping with me. What are we shopping for? Lifetime license software. That way I can reduce my overall monthly cost and get rid of some monthly payments forever. You'll want to open up another tab in your browser and go to AppSumo, link down in the description. Thank you for using my link if you do. I'm an affiliate of AppSumo after having used them for about three years now. When you hit their main page, one of the first things you see is all the offers that are ending soon. Every offer here is a limited time offer. And I can vouch for the fact that I've missed out on a couple things that I wanted and didn't purchase and it wasn't there. So this isn't one of those kind of websites that dangles a fake timer in front of you. And then when you go back later, it's still available. Nothing like that. That has actually happened to me in the past when trying to be grandfathered into different things, not through AppSumo, but usually direct through some, I guess I would say sketch developer. AppSumo does a great job of screening their offers, so I haven't run into this issue. Really the biggest risk on AppSumo is a lot of these developers are in their pre-launch mode or in their fundraising mode. That's why they're offering lifetime packages. There's always the chance that a platform won't pan out or it just won't come to be, but so far that hasn't happened to me. I'm gonna click on new arrivals, and there's one piece of software that I want to show you that I'm on the fence about right now, and that is Boost Space. Boost Space might be your opportunity to get into a white labeled version of Make with a serious buttload of operations available each month for a one time cost. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to click their link right here, Boost Space. And with all of these offers, I will go to their website and evaluate it. Usually you can create an account and test it out before you buy. Basically what Boost Space does, they have created some kind of a database that is central to create what they call a single source of truth, which is a developer term a little bit over my head since my developer skills are kind of deprecated. Let's check out the integrations. And if you look, there are no shortage. There's 1800 integrations for this software. And as you can see right here, our data integrations engine is powered by Make. So this is a white labeled version of Make. Let's take a look at their pricing. So you've got their grow license, their scale license, and their enterprise license. Their enterprise license is probably off the chain and totally tailored to you and will cost considerably more. Then we have the scale license. But either way you go, you're looking at 39 a month or 59 a month for 50,000 operations. Let's take a look at their AppSumo lifetime deal. So I'm going to scroll down. We're going to scroll to where they have the price tiers that you can select. Tier 1, 50,000 operations a month, $59 one time. Then we have Tier 2, 100,000 operations a month, 169 one time. Honestly, if I decide to jump off the fence and buy this, I'm going to do tier three, which is a whopping 200,000 operations a month, and you pay $300 one time. So that's boost space, and I'm strongly considering it. So there's three pieces of software I'm probably going to buy today. The first of them is GoZen Growth. This looks like an excellent replacement for SendGrid and MailChimp. For years, I've been using MailChimp, and they top you out at about 500 contacts before you have to start paying. And when you're trying to grow a new e-com, it can be a hassle to tack on a new monthly just for being able to email people and create your lists. I'm just kind of at the point where it's like it would be very nice to be grandfathered into something, and this looks very promising. So I'm going to go to their website. And if we take a look at them, they actually do kind of remind me of MailChimp. You got your audience, your campaigns, smart campaigns, automations that include things like shopping cart reminder emails and things like that. It's looking like this is the way I'm going to go and let's compare their pricing. $9 a month, $25 a month, 500 contacts, 500 contacts, $99. So it looks like they all start kind of like MailChimp. So this wouldn't necessarily even be that great of an option if I was just going to go for the monthly packages. Let's take a look at what they're offering for lifetime inside of AppSumo. So for $59 one time, you've got one user, and I think that's one email account, but I'd have to check that out, and 20,000 emails a month. So if I were to purchase this only for Canagar Tools, that would be totally viable. Three users, 50,000 emails per month, 
So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to their website and I'm going to see if I can figure out if that's what they mean. And if I can't figure it out, I'm going to message their support and see if I can get an answer on that. But right now I need to know whether I'm going to choose license tier two or tier three, but I might bump myself up to license three just because, hey, I test different print on demand stores all the time. It would be always nice to be able to add a new emailer without having to incur a monthly cost. Next, let's check out a video software that I wanted to get. This one, I don't have much question about. I've already evaluated FlexClip. All of my videos that I've been making for like the past six months, really longer than that, I've been using a solution called Capwing. And I've got a link down in the description. Thank you for using it. Capwing has been amazing. And I made a video about that, and I've also included the link down below so you can see me using Capwing. If I love Capwing so much, why would I want to switch? Well, I don't necessarily want to, except when I was evaluating FlexClip, I couldn't help but notice. Let's click on FlexClip. I'm going to go ahead and log in. FlexClip looks a lot like Capwing like so much like Capwing, it's surprising. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe this is a chance to get grandfathered into something that's very much going to be the same thing that Capwing is. So let me click on my project. Now look over here, look at it. This whole video editor arrangement, everything about it looks a lot like Capwing. Let me go back over to Capwing. Let's go into one of my projects. But you can see in Capwing, I've got options over here to the side. I've got my timeline. I've got lots of different pre-made elements, pre-made everything from stock footage to stock photographs. And it turns out that that's basically what this has too. We've got an image generator built into FlexClip. So I can type in a prompt, a crazy kitty with an insane look on its face cartoon render. Let's see what that gives me. And even though they're trying to give me a discount right here, I know better. I'm going to go over to AppSumo and lifetime myself into this biznatch. Now let's check out the AI video generator. So to do that, I'm going to create a new project. Choose my aspect ratio. And over here on the toolbar, I'm going to click at the bottom under tools. Let's go to video generator. And we've got AI text to video as well as article URL to video. And it's kind of cool to note when Capwing first started, they only had a few options and they added more as time went on. So we can probably expect to see the same here. We've got video script, AI image generator, text to speech, record voice, record screen. And, you know, I fully expect that they will add more things over time. Let's do AI text to video. Let's do make a documentary style video about the insane speeds of the cheetah and in the style of David Attenborough. Narration style. I think that's how I spelled it. Okay, cool. I'm glad spell checker had his name. And let's do generate. What it's going to do is it's going to assemble stock images and stock footage together and compile them into a video. But we'll go ahead and add those to the timeline. And then if I want to take this text and turn it into a voiceover, we've got subtitle to speech. So I'm going to highlight, I wonder if I can highlight all of those Subtitle to speech, choose a voice. Let's do Andrew. Okay, so I'm going to generate that voiceover. Then I can come down, select my audio, turn the volume down a notch. My assumption is that over time, this software will only get better and better. Let's go back over and see what their licenses offer. Plan one, $69, 720p, one stock video. I'm not going to screw around. I'm just going to do the full license on plan three. 1080p is what I've been exporting in so far for all of my videos. 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, one terabyte of video hosting space. And it's got AI text to video 6,000 times per year. 
as well as auto subtitle 28, 80 minutes per year. The highest tier should definitely have me covered for most of what I'm doing right now and hopefully a little bit into the future as I expand. So next up on my to buy list, if you've been keeping up with this channel, you've seen some of my recent videos about automating blogs. For the most part, for generating them with AI, I've been using Wonder and Make. I don't have something that can take a video and rip the video and turn it into a blog yet. I've been making transcripts of these videos and uploading them to a blogger platform called Medium. And I've mostly been doing that manually. This looks like it'll be a fine tool to help me do that automatically, turn anything into a blog. And this is Blogify. With the help of AI, Blogify can turn almost anything into a blog, video, podcast, audio, image. I'm going to give this a whirl and I'm going to pop over to their website. When I go over to the Blogify website and create an account to try to test their features, it looks like they don't offer any kind of a trial. They cut straight to payment processing. So do I want to do this? Do I not? I think I am. When I click on Blogify and look at their actual blog, it looks really nice. And they have a blog on the platform which I've chosen to blog, Medium. Looking at some of their blogs and the formatting, it's looking good to me. So even though it's rare that I would do this, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and hope for the best. And last but definitely not least on my list, is a really cool app that I just investigated called Soundverse. What does it do? AI generated music. Pop on over to their website with me real quick and let's check it out. It's very awesome. Basically it's a chat pod like every other style of AI that you can interact with today. And you give it commands to create different pieces of music. It then spits them out and then you can arrange them. It's a little bit different than most uh, digital audio workstation style interfaces. Kind of reminds me of Ableton or other kind of beat makers, but it's something totally different. So let's check it out. I'm going to click on studio and we're going to pop into the project I've been working on. Create a Swedish melodic death metal intro, complex and groovy. Let's try that out. Now I'm going to scroll down and you can see how I've asked it to extend it. I basically said continue that song, but the thing is it wasn't able to follow my command. It cranked out something totally different. That's definitely not a continuation of my death metal song, but it turns out there is a way to do it. You can click on the three dots, AI magic tools, extend audio, and it will take what it created and make an extension of it and then you can arrange it yourself over here in this kind of musical arranger. Well, I won't dig too much into this today because I haven't even really messed with it too much. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and then I might even make some videos on it later. So let me go back over to AppSumo and there's my cart. Thank you guys for joining me on this grandfather license shopping spree. I've got about $650 worth of software I'm going to snag today. If you've enjoyed this video or it's helped you, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, all that good stuff. Onward and upward.